Oh, battery's dead. No, you're on. <laughs> um, okay. Easter. Passover. Uh, some of you will be amazed to find that Easter and Passover is the same holiday. But it is observed by Christians called Easter and um, maybe we should call it Passover, you know, because um, secular folks try to point out that it's related to a uh, pagan the name Easter is related to a pagan god. The holiday is not. The tradition of it is not. There's nothing there's nothing else, you know, besides that that Christians celebrate that can be remotely related to um, any kind of a other secular thing. But I want to compare today what Christ has done um, by fulfilling the Passover. Christ was crucified on uh, Passover um, on Passover day um, when <clears throat> it was not tradition. It, normally the elders would uh, bypass the Passover day but um, Christ was slain on Passover day. I mean, the the elders of the church, <clears throat> excuse me, the Jewish church, they would bypass any, anyone's crucifixion on this day. But but this year was something special. They had to get rid of this aggravation that they had, and so therefore Christ was slain on Passover day, not knowing. You know, they didn't know that it was God's plan for them to do that because he sent his sacrifice this was God's sacrifice it wasn't man's sacrifice the Bible says no man took his life but he lay it down okay if you, if you read John 13 1 the Bible says there that it was just before the Passover festival Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and to go to the Father <clears throat> Excuse me. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. Um, and I'm reading, of course, from the uh, NIV Bible. The evening meal was in process, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Christ. Um, so this is all part of the setup of everything that was getting ready to be done. And um, see, Jesus went in and he and he took. He wanted to take this meal. He didn't eat it, but he sat down with them and he blessed it and he gave to them. And he was eating here the Passover meal. Okay, that's what I wanted to point out to you. And. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and, okay, now in the original place where it began was with Moses. If anybody ever seen the Ten Commandments and they saw all the how the people of uh, Israel were was delivered through Moses and all the plagues and all this stuff and um, God delivered them through a hard process. Uh, plagues and all different kinds of things and and finally the very last one that was brought was this was the uh, death of the eldest son of Egypt uh, which you can find recorded in their history in a pagan history you can find this act recorded in but we find it recorded in the Bible in the book of Exodus chapter 12 excuse me and not only in uh, uh, Exodus but it's also in Leviticus 23 uh, verse 5 um, but this is what it says I want to read the uh, King James Version it says and thus shall you eat of it 
with your loins girt and your shoes on your feet and uh, your staff in your hand and you shall eat of it in haste it is the Lord's Passover okay now what they were talking about was the sacrificial lamb there because when when they ate this lamb it was it was a time of going in other words we're getting ready to go because that's exactly what they did they ate this lamb uh, Moses told them to take this lamb and share it with their neighbor if they had too much and uh, they were to roast it whole and uh, that night they were uh, locked themselves in and the blood of that same lamb that they ate was put over their doorpost so that none of them uh, would be without the house but all that would be in the house and they were all covered by the blood of the lamb boy I'm, you know I'm getting excited just talking about this <laughs> because this same blood this blood represented from those lambs you know I wonder if the Jews today still put the blood of their lamb over the doorposts as they did in Moses day wouldn't that be great if they did because see they don't believe in Christ yet they don't believe in the, re the return of Christ as we do as Christians but God says there's a day when the Jews will accept this same Jesus as we know as their Savior and that day is not too far off you know this this Jewish holiday this Passover Easter that we celebrate is a direct is directly related to the last days the putting on the keeping on of the clothes of their shoes on their feet getting ready to go and Jesus came when he came he continuously told us get stay ready to go get ready when you see this day drawing close he says look up for your redemption draweth nigh <clears throat> excuse me gotta get a drink of coffee or tea we have tea it's better for you it's got caffeine too it just caffeine doesn't hit you so hard it doesn't bother your nerves so bad okay so and listen how it says this okay um, I want to read it in the uh, international version <clears throat> this is how you shall eat it with your cloak tucked into your belt that's the way they did when they ran your sandals on your feet and your staff in your hand eat it in haste in haste in a hurry it is the Lord's Passover and that night when the death angel came we sing a song about that it said the blood is without and the lamb is within you know and that's exactly what God wants us to do he wants us to be covered by the blood and Jesus says take this and eat it for this is my body you know why I said that because you become what you eat spiritually you become what you eat eat the Word of God you become spiritually what goes into your eyes you know why people so messed up that watch porn watch wrestling watch soap operas you know why they're so messed up because that's what they're eating spiritually and they're so messed up that man they you know what <laughs> they become what they eat you know I never forget the story this fellow I told that was he was married and he he brought pornographic magazines into work all the time and to tell me he was Christian he goes oh you just can't look at him because you ain't you don't have strong enough faith well that's what the devil tricked him with you know and it wasn't six months him and his wife had a divorce and this is why we we should eat the the Passover this is why not just a tradition of eating meat and taking bread but all year long every day of our life man put this lamb within us within our hearts don't let your eyes be cast upon something that would draw you away from God don't let your ears hear music that would draw you away from God Lord I pray that today that you put this in me and put this in them and, and keep this this idea of who you are because because it is so 
presently needed in our day. It's, this is why our nation can't uh, have the good sense to elect a president because, because through television we've been so perverted. <clears throat> you can bring horror right into your house. Mass murder, killing, blood, war can come right into your living room. Uh, one man sleep with another man's wife, get, you get wrapped up in who they are. Comes right into your house. And you wonder why America is in such bad shape. Well, because the devil rules the airwaves. That's why. The devil rules the airwaves. And Christ brought this Passover lamb, <clears throat> who he was a Passover lamb, to infiltrate in all that we do. With, from within, not from without. It's not just a tradition that you do that all of a sudden you're covered by the blood and you never and you can sin all that you want. No. Christ says, take this as my body. Eat it. This is my blood. Drink it. Why? Because, because you become what you eat. Directly related to it. And here's where it is. Matthew. 24 okay now uh, Jesus had left the temple and was walking away when his disciples came to him to call uh, his attention to the buildings uh, you know people always look into the buildings ain't they? you build it they will come you know in the in our day man the the mega church of the day they got so many things uh, in their buildings, they got massive. Um, Osteen's building in Texas, man, is it's uh, it used to be a basketball stadium. Ten thousand people that place a hold, and impressive to say the least. Impressive. And they was pointing all this stuff out in Jesus' day to him. Look at these buildings. You know, I went to a church here a while back. Um, I preached there for a while, and uh, the Lord. And they were they were showing me the the building and everything. Oh, look at these fine architectural works and blah blah blah. Our, our glass stained windows and all this stuff. And I'm like, you know, I'm thinking to myself, you know, what does this mean? This means absolutely God cares so much about that stuff. He's gonna burn it one day. He's gonna burn it. Listen, Jesus had the same attitude. Look at this. Look at all these stuff we got here, as the disciples says. And Jesus said to them, Do you see all these things? He asked. Truly I tell you, not one stone shall be left upon another. Every one shall be thrown down. <laughs> Every one. He was projecting what would happen to Israel 70 years after his death because they received him not. 70 years after Israel and if you look it up, if you can find it on the calendar, it would, I bet it would be exactly to the day. Because it was part of the prophecy that Christ made, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, it was part of the prophecy in the book of Daniel, 70 years. And, and it says there shall be a cutting off, and that's what it was. In Israel, there was a cut off until this such and such time will be fulfilled and seven is a number of completion in God and all this stuff Easter is, a, is about this holiday that we celebrate you know the Jews celebrate um, and the time varies it's it doesn't happen all the same time but on the original Easter happened on that day and, I, and I'm, th I'm sure if you look every 11 years it will fall Easter and um, and uh, pass, the Passover holiday will fall on the same day because that's how it, the, the calendar is of times is set up. My son was born on Mother's Day and every 11 years his birthday falls on Mother's Day. So, and this is all a part about the coming of Christ and about the um, uh, how it will be brung such as Moses did in the in the beginning it's going to be brought the same day with tribulation with tribulation this is going to come to pass okay already god bless you thank you for joining me we'll see you again next time um
right here across in the middle. Celebrate Jesus today. Celebrate Jesus today.